Hello parents and athletes. My name is Coach Andrew Dapolite and I'm the head coach of the Varsity Cross Country Program at Byron Hills High School. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our high school cross country program and the upcoming season, which officially begins on Monday, August 22nd. In this short video presentation, you will learn the basics of our program, athlete expectations and team policies, and what practices and meets will look like. Hopefully this video will provide some clarity to any questions you had about our program. At the conclusion of this video, if you have any lingering questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me via my email address. I always prefer email, but I will also include my cell phone number on the screen, which is meant for parent use only. I want to start by first explaining what is cross country. Cross country basically is a sport in which teams and individuals run a race over open air courses over natural terrain, such as dirt and grass. Sometimes there are hills, Sometimes there's trails through the woods or the roads, etc. The race distances range from 1.5 miles for freshmen up to 3.1 miles for our varsity and JV runners. The top seven runners on our team are defined as varsity, and that changes every single week. Additionally, some runners uh, will race as JV and then maybe move, move up to varsity later in the season. And our freshmen will race a course that is shorter very similar to their middle school uh, program. As athletes, Coach Flanagan and I were lucky to come out of great high school programs at Rye High and Byram Hills, which serves as the basis for our coaching philosophy here at Byram Hills. Cross country is a sport for everyone. There are no tryouts. There are no cuts. Workouts are adjusted to each athlete's background and ability level, and that will change as the season progresses. We have had athletes on our team who have been running since middle school and are highly competitive in our county, in our state, even nationally. We also have newcomers at every grade level simply striving for personal bests or just using our practices to get in shape for a different sport. We welcome everyone. While cross country is a team sport, we work with each athlete on setting individual goals and strive to achieve them. So quick background on me. I've been with the Byram Hills Cross Country and Track and Field program now for 10 seasons. I previously coached cross country and track at Rye High School, which is where I also attended in my youth. When I was in high school, I raced cross country and track um, from seventh grade up through my senior year, and I competed primarily as a middle distance and a distance runner. Joining me on the coaching staff is Coach Sean Flanagan, who some of you know from winter and spring track. Coach Flanagan is currently completing his master's degree at Manhattanville College to teach physical education. Uh, he coached here uh, this past year, and he also ran cross-country winter track and spring track at Byron Hills High School, class of 2013. All athletes will be receiving a packet with our expectations. A digital version of this packet will be emailed to athletes and parents and posted on SportsU. I'm not going to go through all of the packet right now, but I do want to highlight a few important items. First, as a member of the team, we expect you to be at practice and be on time. Practice begins at 3 p.m., and we will be meeting on the track most days. Practice will last about two hours, give or take. We will have the occasional Saturday practice when we are not competing. We allow three unexcused absences. However, you will lose a week of competition. If you accumulate six unexcused absences, you will be dismissed from the team. Excused absences, uh, so the absences that are not included in these six, our SAT, ACT, testing, injury, illness, quarantine, family emergency, you are not penalized for those reasons at all. So basically, our meets are held at home uh, on our course. We do have a cross-country course here on campus. And we also travel to other area schools or state and county parks. The race distances, like I said earlier, range from 1.5 miles for freshmen up to 3.1 miles for JV and varsity. Athletes are expected to take the bus and stay for the entire meet. Our meets can last anywhere from two to four hours. Sometimes they're, they're super quick. You know, there's just a boys race and a girls race. Other meets, we might have, uh, you know, some freshman racing, some JV racing separately, and varsity races. Um, so it really depends. Um, athletes are not permitted to drive themselves to away meets. If an, if an athlete requires an alternative method of transportation, so basically if they require um, to be picked up or dropped off by someone other than their parent, they must complete a B form, which uh, should be filled out and signed by our athletic director or the assistant athletic director 24 hours prior to the event. And travel guidelines, I just mentioned uh, most of this. Um, I'm going to leave the slide up on the screen so you guys can see uh, some of the details. 
All right, advocate for yourselves. We ask our athletes to always advocate for themselves. Communication is key. The coaches are very approachable. You can speak to us before or after practice or via email or sports you message. It is very important for athletes to speak directly to the coach regarding any issues with teammates, appointments, school, extracurricular conflicts, practices, meets, illnesses, or injuries. We have an excellent athletic trainer, Dan Santora, who works with each of the teams. Dan is a great resource for the kids. If they do have an injury, we work closely with him. And finally, we ask that you speak to a coach prior to speaking to the athletic director. So you've, met, you've heard me mention SportsU a few times now in this presentation. SportsU is an app that we use to communicate with the team and with parents. We regularly post updates on SportsU with information uh, regarding practices, meets, as well as some fun stuff like photos and videos. It's an easy to use app. You can download it on your phone. You can also access it through a computer if you go to sportsu.com. Our team has a code, which I will put up here on the screen. Once you download the app, you have to sign up for our team using the access code. We do send out email updates from time to time, but this is our most important and immediate way to get out information quickly. If you have any technical issues regarding the app, feel free to reach out. I can help you troubleshoot those. And I just want to end by emphasizing that our main goal this season is to have fun and provide opportunities for athletes to train, race, and compete while improving their fitness and perhaps prepare for their next season of sport. You know, I talk to other coaches and a lot of them will tell me that some of our cross-country runners who play other sports, they arrive at their first practice for their main sport in the best shape of their lives, whether it be basketball um, or uh, swimming or hockey. Cross-country has been a great way to build their base and uh, improve their fitness before the season begins. I just want to end uh, with an informative slide with um, information about the start of the season, as well as some testimonials straight from the athletes who I have been working with here at Byram Hills uh, over the last couple of years. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you, and uh, I look forward to seeing everyone on Monday, August 22nd. Cross country is a lot of trail running and running very differently from track. You know, track, you have your classic, you know, oval, you see the finish line. Cross country is very different. You know, you start at a different place from where you finish. We will race between a mile and a half to 5K every time. There are different terrains. One course could have a lot of fields, another could have a lot of hills. A lot of it's pretty scenic, not gonna lie. It's a very big uh, mystery, you know, running a cross country race. But if anything, I feel like that will make cross country, you know, a lot more fun and exciting uh, sport. Although I'm not a long distance runner, I'm a sprinter. In fact, I run 100 and 400 meter hurdles along with multiple other types of sprints. And I think that cross country provides a unique foundation for both mental and physical strength. We had kids who were on lacrosse, who did basketball, who even did sports outside of school and cross country provide the same foundation for them to get better in their other sports. I do cross country because one, I love to compete and it's very good for that, but I also do basketball in the winter and so cross country just really helps because there are very few basketball players that will run like four or five miles every day. So when I go to the season, I'm usually one of the best conditions. Well, cross country helps me to create like a really good base for my track and field season. Well, last week at the Class B Championships, I ran a 449 mile and this was something that I wouldn't be able to do without my cross country training. Because I joined cross country as a junior, I was a little nervous joining, really intimidated. I hadn't run much track before, but I came in and all the upperclassmen were so welcoming. I made incredible friendships and it's really just a nice close-knit team. People cheer you on sometimes in the trails a little bit. It's really kind of like a family. I joined with a couple of my friends and we'd run in packs during the races, which means we'd run together and we'd run as a team. Even though our results are individual, we'd run together and we push each other to get better. And that's the best part about cross country. You can do it with your friends and it's fun and it could be just conditioning for you. But then over time, 
will become something you want to get better at and you're gonna want to see those results get better and they will. To me, cross country is something that's definitely impacted my high school experience for the better. It's uh, given me some of my best friends that I still stay in contact with now. It's given me great memories that I'll cherish going th you know, through college and through life probably. And it's helped me in, in ways that I never expected it would.